all right good evening one and all this is manas your friend and tutor and i'm back with another video on this series of lectures on autocad today we are going to take a look at three very important editing commands we are going to kick off with the move command we are going to then study the copy command and then finally we'll end up with the rotate command now, these three commands are going to be very interesting i think we should we should have a look here we go okay now the move command you can understand from the word move okay you have will make an object and then you can move from one coordinate to the other or from one location to the other and this is going to be super easy first of all let me let me just reduce my size okay that would be good right now we are good to go okay let's start let's say um we make a drawing first of all and uh, it's better if we can just make a rectangle simply so type r on the screen what do you see okay you need to type rec for rectangle rec and hit enter bingo you need to select the first point on the screen that's the first point and this is the second point done now what how can you approach now okay now this is not going to be the our main object what we'll try to do is let me have a circle okay let me have a circle and let the radius be 10 mm simple all right just take a look what i wish to do is that i want to move this object i want to move this circle and how can this be done select this use the move command m just simply type m and for m m is the basically the shortcut for move and hit enter as soon as you do that you need to select the base point now you can select the base point as this this extreme left extreme right or you can also take the base point as the center let's take this as the center and then move you can move it wherever you want it to okay you can move it here that's one way of understanding this now let's say i select this okay you can select this hit m enter and then select the base point let me select the base point as the center right here and let me place it at one corner of this rectangle very simple okay very basic now what we can do just take a look i wish to first take this circle take this object towards this corner and then to all the corners and back to this place how can this be achieved again you need to select the object either you can just type in mo okay or simply m enter you can then select the object you can then hit enter you need to select the base point take the center as the base point now move your cursor towards this next next corner and automatically this will snap this is how you can do okay then again select the object either you can first of all select the object or you can write the command also no problem whatsoever amit dugal sir good evening sir kaise hain aap <laughs> just select the object okay hit m enter and then select the base point as the center and then move it right to the bottom okay very simple again select the object m enter select the base point move the object and we are right here okay if you want to move orthogonally you can start the ortho on that can be done let me show that to you again let us select the object hit m enter let me select the base point and then let me select ortho if you watch now the cursor is moving sort of in a horizontal and vertical fashion and now let me put this over here okay and one more thing autocad classes are going to begin from 26th of july this month okay and uh, already a lot of students have enrolled so if you want to become a part of this autocad course what you can do is simply download the application the link to which can be found in the description and purchase the course go to the store section at the bottom of the main page okay you'll find it it's very easy okay so this is exactly how you can move objects to different places you can also place the coordinates also okay using the absolute coordinate system using the relative coordinate system and the polar coordinate system you can sort of move the objects from one location to the other that can be done pretty easily now let's see if there are some other options also if i select this object i hit m for move hit enter 
okay it is asking me to specify the base point if i select this as the base point and i bring it over here you see it has been moved with respect to this bottom point right that can be done let's let's do this once again m enter now if you if you just take a look over here i don't know whether you guys are able to see this or not let me zoom it in slightly just give me some time students so that i can fit the screen i don't know if you guys are able to see this okay here we've got an option of displacement now if i select this what will happen what you need to do is you need to hit d press enter and then let's see what happens okay just stay tuned keep watching this is going to be super interesting one sec one sec let me get all of this perfect perfect okay now let's do this again select the object m enter now select d d enter so it is the software is now asking you to specify specify what is going to be the displacement let's say i want it to be displaced um let me switch off the ortho i want this uh, one sec one sec let us select this once again m enter specify the base point let us take this as the base point okay and now for displacement d for displacement okay one sec the command is out of line let me try this once again here we go m enter specify the base point now you can displace it wherever you want to if you want to displace it somewhere here you can do that very well okay so damn easy right okay so that's one way of uh, using the move command now you can also use the copy command copy command is pretty simple if you if you are moving the object the object is displayed okay the source object is your main object now if you have a copy the source object stays where it is let me show that to you if i select this object write co on the screen hit enter select the base point as this and move it wherever you want to automatically it will create multiple copies you can make as many copies as you want right if you want your work to be in a very much organized fashion what you can basically do is just take a look let's say i want to move this over here i want to make multiple copies at each and every corner of the rectangle that can be done very easily you just simply write co enter specify the base point take it as the center click click the command is still active click and this is exactly how you can achieve objects at all the four corners of this rectangle in a very easy fashion so this was copy command for you now let's do this once again c o p y from the command line hit enter select objects okay we have selected the object hit enter displacement mode displacement d enter now the displacement let's say we take the displacement as uh, this is our object by the way well, let's say we displace it by a distance of 20 mm at an angle of 0 degrees here we go this is 20 mm okay and at an angle of 0 degree let me show that once again so we or we have a copy also just take a look at this once again i think it would be better if i remove all of this let me make a new diagram let me show that to you okay let's let's have a circle very well now take a look select the object press copy enter select the base point let's say this is the base point okay now you need to go for displacement one sec one sec hit escape multiple times co enter displacement for displacement just take a look over here displacement hit d okay enter and now i want to displace this by a distance of 50 mm and at an angle of let's say 30 degrees 30 degrees this is how this is 0 degrees this is 30 degrees okay so this is how you can make the copy command work in a very easy fashion all right all right let's erase this do we have other objects also okay let me delete this so these were basically the move and copy commands and let me show that move command to you once again and let me have the circle this is the circle let's see like the radius as 20 mm now let me let me select this move 
M, enter, select the base point. Let me select this as the base point or displacement. Okay, move. So let's go for D. Okay, so if what we want to do is we want to displace it by a distance of 100 and at an angle of let's say 30 degrees. You see, this is the new location. Okay, the previous location can't be seen because we've used the move command. If we use the copy command, automatically this is going to be a, a copy of the original file or the, not the file, but the original object, right? So that is the difference. Now what we can do is we can also use the rotate command and for understanding the rotate command, I think it will be better if we can simply make a rectangle. Okay, just take a look. This is going to be very interesting. Here is our rectangle. What we want to do is let's say we want to rotate this by an angle of 45 degrees. Let's say what I'll do is either you can use this icon, click, okay, then select the object. This is basically meant for the rotate command, right? Select this object, hit enter and specify the base point. Let's say this bottom left corner is our base point. If I click here, now you just need to enter the angle or you can simply click anywhere on the screen and it will stop. Okay. Once again, let us do this. Rotate, select the object, enter. Whenever you select the ob any object, hit enter. Okay. Then only the next step of the command will be active. Select this as the base point and specify the rotation angle as 45 degrees and hit enter and automatically you can see this 45 degrees. Very easy. <laughs> okay. Now let me get it back. So this is one way of approaching the rotate command from this toolbox. What basically we can do is, right, you can use the cursor approach or the command line approach. Let's say we are somewhere here. Just take a look at the cursor. I'm writing RO. RO is the shortcut for rotate. So once you write RO and hit enter, automatically the rotate command is active. Once you select this, okay, hit enter, you've been asked to specify the base point. Let us select this as the base point. Now you just need to specify the rotation angle. We want this to be rotated by an angle of 90 degrees, 90 and hit enter. It's absolutely vertical. The rectangle, which was initially horizontal. Now it's absolutely vertical. So this is how rotate command can be implemented. Okay. So there is one more option in rotate command. Let me show that to you. Okay. Let me get this back. Here we go. Rotate RO enter, select the object select the object enter let me let me first of all select this as 45 degrees specify the base point okay one sec one sec let us do this once again select the object ro specify the base point here is the base point now you see over here it's written copy take a look at the command line it's written copy so for copy what you need to do is you need to type c enter and then and then you can specify any angle. Let's say I want to enter 75 degrees. Okay. So I'll have the new diagram and I'll have the previous diagram also. Or you can say you will have the new object at an angle of 75 degrees and also the horizontal one. Right. So this is basically how you can employ the rotate command. I am sure in this session, you've got a fair idea as to how you can apply the move, copy and rotate commands. Right. And guys, once again, I urge all of you to take the AutoCAD course as soon as possible. Classes are going to begin from 26th of July. A lot of students have already enrolled. Be a part of the family. Join the course if you're a civil or a mechanical or even an architecture student. This is going to be very, very helpful for you in the future. Right. So uh, the link is in the description. Download the app and you can speak directly with me. So guys, that was all for today. I'm going to see you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Have a nice day. Keep learning. Keep watching. Thank you.